What's going on everyone? We are here in Innovex. This is where all of the startups come to be known basically by the rest of the world. So innovations, a lot of stuff going on here. Uh, startups trying to get their name out there, Kickstarters, the works. We are here with AmbiClimate again, who we worked with last year. They've had several revisions of their product. Uh, they're still working on some things that are gonna be really big this year uh, that I wanna talk about. So I'm here with Julian, and uh, Julian's gonna give us the rundown of what exactly to expect in 2018. The problem with air conditioners today is that you can only really set a temperature, but there are many other factors that affect your comfort. So things like humidity or sunlight coming in the room, changing weather outside, things like that. So the way our system works is that through the app, the user doesn't have to set a temperature anymore. They just tell us if they feel you know, hot, cold, or comfortable. And as they give us that feedback, we use machine learning to build a personal profile of their comfort. So something like this. Actually, in general, many of our users find that temperature is not the number one factor that affects them. In general, it's things like humidity or outdoor weather. So we're constantly tracking these factors, and as they change, we automatically adjust the air conditioner so that users find it uh, more comfortable, and many users also save energy as well. So in terms of product updates, you know, a lot of what we've been doing recently is you know, we've launched the second generation of the device, so it's cheaper now, and also uh, in a much nicer form factor, so that's something a lot of our users have liked. And we've also been working on a lot of new features, like for example, the integration. So we already have uh, Amazon Alexa integration working fine, and uh, we're working on Google Home right now, so this will be ready by the summer. So we developed AmbiClimate to solve some common air conditioner usage problems. So for example, you know, very common problems people have are things like you know, a, a, good com a good temperature to fall asleep at at night is always going to be too cold the next morning because your metabolism is slowed down. And also you have a lot of common problems like when the weather changes outside. You know, if it's especially a hot day, you know, people have to adjust the set point temperature to get something comfortable. Or if it suddenly starts raining outside, but a lot of people find it suddenly gets freezing cold inside. So that, that's why we developed this AI to solve these problems. Now, on top of that, of course, you know, we have some very good you know, other typical smart home features. So uh, aside from the in, uh, voice integrations I mentioned just now, we also have uh, uh, features like geolocation. So for example, here on my phone, you can see this is our office here in Hong Kong. Uh, so uh, we basically, you can set it up so that it automatically turns on when you come in, it automatically turns off as you leave. So it's pretty convenient you know, for our uh, employees and it's not you know, scorching hot you know, when the moment they get in the office. Right, right. And it can save some money too, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. definitely. You don't have to leave the AC on all the time. Exactly. So basically, you just need, uh, this is a very plug and play device. So you do need to plug in the power and then uh, you need to position the device somewhere where there's a good Wi-Fi coverage and also line of sight to the air conditioner within about you know, five meters or about 15 feet or thereabouts. Now, um, in terms of the you know, air conditioners, we work with any air conditioner with a remote control like this. So one that has an LCD screen. We are compatible with over 50 brands and over 1,200 different air conditioner models. So pretty much anything on the market we can be compatible with. So here's the scenario for you. It's Taiwan, right? Super hot here, very humid. Let's say I come to home from, I don't know, a long walk in the park and I'm very, very sweaty. I don't have to sweat cash though because my AC unit, assuming I'm using it in conjunction with AmbiClimate, is off right now thanks to geotagging. But I walk back into my home Wi-Fi, AmbiClimate knows that I just have AC kicks on. Let's say after an hour or two, I'm still kind of hot. I'm not as comfortable as I should be with my AC unit, but I can tell AmbiClimate in the app that I'm still uncomfortable and through machine learning that artificial intelligence is baked into the product, it will know over time what to expect based on weather conditions, how humid it is, things that are outside of our control ultimately, the product will know how to adjust without me having to give it direct feedback. That's great, hands off, as long as it's accurate, you have nothing to worry about. That's exactly what AmbiClimate brings to the table. So in a nutshell, this is Innovex. A ton of relatively small booths by comparison, filled with a bunch of startups trying to get their name out there, trying to be the next big company. Look, every company starts up as a startup. Uh, so all of these companies are trying to make a name for themselves. Wanted to give you a quick little walkthrough here of what to expect if you show up to an event like this. And I do strongly recommend that if you ever get a chance to attend Computex, whether it be in 2019 or 2029, uh, to stop by the Innotech, the innovations uh, area of this event because 
you might find something you really like, maybe something to invest in, maybe something to try out yourself because it might be the next best thing. We came back to Ambi Climate because we liked what we saw the first time and I like the improvements they've got coming out in 2018. They actually sent me a unit myself and I cannot wait to test it so that I can give you guys a thorough and proper review of the product. For now, we're gonna sign out. We have a couple more things to do here in Taipei and then we'll be back home for traditional coverage. This is Science Studio. Thanks for traveling with us.